I have been waiting for this moment for so long. I can't believe that it's finally here. Not a pastor, not a prophet, not a minister, not a saint. No, no, no. God sent me a face you're more familiar with than even your own. Don't give me that look like, what are you talking about? Are you really going to act like you never seen me before? You really going to make me go there, huh? Okay, let me help you. I'm the one that you see every single time you go into the grocery store with your mind somewhere between hoping that you don't see anybody that you know will come up and talk to you and trying to get out of that store as fast as you can because being in public around people that you don't know just flat out makes you uncomfortable. I'm the one that you see every single time you walk into your workplace with your nobody better mess with me today face on your don't ask me how my day is going attitude and your God, I don't like where you have me right now life on full display. I'm the one that comes to church, but doesn't feel weird during praise and worship because you're uninvolved, uninterested, and glued to your seat just like me. I look to see if you're ever going to open up, and since you never do it, I believe that it's okay to shut God out even when he is near. Thank you for your example. And by the time the altar call begins and conviction hits, I've already been exposed to the spirits of shame, fear, and laziness through you, so ain't no way I'm getting up now even if I think I should. Yeah, I watch you. And you make death look so comfortable to me. Still don't recognize me, huh? Okay, let's get personal. I'm the one that God gives you a word for, or the Spirit leads you to talk to, and you have to spend an entire minute trying to figure out just how you're going to approach me. And in that one small minute, you done looked at me ten times. We done made accidental eye contact, so you really scared now. And then you got to ask God what you're supposed to say or do about ten more times after that. Because all of a sudden, when it's not about your desires and what you want, you got to make sure if you're hearing God clearly or not. And you wait for me to stop texting and scrolling and look unbusy because you are ashamed and afraid to disrupt me, to help, strengthen, pray for, or pray with me. And yet you say you really want God to use you. But everything I need is in me, right? Well, everything you need is in you too. If you love me enough to see me, a sin-sick, hell-bound soul crying out for help. Like, even if I reject it, how can you be ashamed and afraid to give me exactly what I am longing for? How many Christians does it take to witness to one soul? Oh, fishers of men, huh? Well, when will you stop debating with me to debate me, to show me that my eyes cannot see what I really need, and to unhook me from these dirt-covered things that I've learned to cherish and go hard for, because everything looks great when you're drowning underwater? How great would it be? If I submit to his control, alternate deletion of my plans, if I submit to his command to know his option of escape, because his force quit is the only way to take me from being Mac by an apple to being on super hot fire for God. Because battles with the devil are windows, or I should at least. You're the light. No wonder why the world is so dark, because you, the light, looks at me and I know what you see. You see my sin and not my freedom in his righteousness by his blood. You see my hate and not his unconditional love for me. All you see is me running away and rejecting him and not his wide open arms for me. We done spent the last few minutes talking about you when it ain't even really supposed to be about you. I got a great quote for you. Regardless of your failures and your shortcomings, what you can't do is not tell me that the Lord wants me. Witness to me, okay? Pray for me. Help me. Pray with me. Strengthen me. The only way that I will see that Jesus can raise me out of the death that I am in is if I see it in your life. Pardon my aggression, but this may be the only opportunity I ever have that we ever have. Us lost souls trapped in bondage, destined for hell. We need you. God needs you. Please. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness?